your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning, it's Tuesday and it's June the 29th. The day Coming to America opened in 1988. AI Artificial Intelligence was released 20 years ago in 2001. It's the 14th anniversary of Ratatouille and Seth MacFarlane's TED opened 9 years ago today in 2012. It's birthday to Gary Busey, Richard Lewis and Scarlett Johansson's husband Colin Jost and it's the day all of this has been going on. In-demand actress Vanessa Kirby has signed on to star opposite Hugh Jackman and Laura Dern in The Sun. Director Florian Zeller's sophomore follow-up to Oscar winner The Father will again adapt one of his stage plays from a trilogy that also includes the currently unadapted The Mother in a gut-wrenching drama centering around familial relations. The Sun will follow Jackman's Peter, living a busy life with new wife, Kirby's Beth, and their newborn baby. However, their cosy life together is thrown into disarray when Peter's ex-wife Kate, played by Dern suddenly appears on his doorstep with their teenage son Nicholas. In a statement, Zeller praised Kirby, saying, Vanessa Kirby is for me a very great actress, intense, inventive and powerful. I am especially happy to take her on this cinematic adventure. There's no release date for The Sun just yet, but shooting is expected to commence later this year. You must tell no one. Papers all think of a Johnny Dow Keith, Billy Wallace. Mummy and Papa too, by the way. They're just boys, whereas... No, I quite see the attraction of Peter, but he's married. Gravel-voiced actor and former Hellboy Ron Perlman has joined the cast of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Perlman has signed on to voice Optimus Primal, the soon-to-be-introduced leader of the heroic Maximals, who can transform from a robot into a gorilla, because toys. The Sons of Anarchy Thesp is no stranger to giant robots, having starred in Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim, as well as having actually voiced Optimus Primal previously in Rooster Teeth's unpopular web series, Transformers Power of the Prime. The character was first introduced in 1996's groundbreaking CG animated TV show Beast Wars Transformers, a sidequel to the original 80s Generation 1 cartoon. Perlman joins in already returning Peter Cullen as the voice of Optimus Prime proper, whilst Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback will lead the human side of things. Rise of the Beast is intended to be a sequel to 2018's well-received Bumblebee, and it'll be set in the 1990s. Creed 2 Stephen Capel Jr. will direct the project from a script penned by Daniel Matea, Josh Peters and Joby Harold, and it's set for release on the 24th of June next year. This is the bot that's protecting the Requiem Blaster for longer than he can remember. My name is Optimus Primal. And finally, what's new with Knives Out 2? Well, the film has officially finished filling out its gargantuan call sheet and has begun filming in Greece. The highly anticipated sequel to 2019's modern classic has gathered an outstanding collection of talent to fill its lineup of suspects, including Edward Norton, Kate Hudson, Leslie Odom Jr., Catherine Hahn, Dave Batista, Janelle Monet, Jessica Henwick, and Madeline Klein. Also set to return for the first film, of course, is Daniel Craig's charming super sleuth Benoit Bloch, the man who solves it all with the southern drawl. Addressing the news, reprising director Ryan Johnson said in a tweet, and we're off. Day one of filming on the next Benoit Blanc mystery. Thanks to all the lovely patient people here in Greece for letting us do all this murdering on their peaceful shores. Johnson will helm from a script he penned himself, and the film's currently awaiting a release schedule, as well as a title, for goodness sake, Ryan. Craig, meanwhile, can next be seen in his final appearance as 007 James Bond in the long-awaited No Time to Die, set to a long-last hit cinemas on the 30th of September. Detective Blank, you said the investigation is ongoing. You made a point of that. Do you suspect foul play? Mr. Blanc, if you please. There is much that remains unclear, but yes, I suspect foul play. Vicious Fun's new to stream on Shudder from today, while movie subscribers are treated to Matt Wolf's recorder, The Marion Stokes Project. 
On Freeview tonight, you can catch Cowboys and Aliens, Shooter and Eagle Eye showing on Film 4. There's Insidious over on Five Star. Great movies are showing It Could Happen to You, Catch and Release, Cold Comes the Night and First Kill. Don't Hang Up and Bram Stoker's Dracula are on the Horror Channel and the Paramount Network showing Eli Roth's 2018 remake of Death Wish. While the Sky Cinema and Now premiere for today is the mystery thriller Reunion. And that's your daily reel for Tuesday, 29th of June. Keep it cinematic, and we'll see you tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production, presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing, and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on all good podcast platforms, or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod, and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Cinematic.